Can you tell me a bit more about what's been happening? I've got bony lumps on the sides of my feet near my big toes. I wore sandals today, so you can see how red the skin over the lumps is as well. Hmm, yes. The lumps are actually called bunions. I can see that both sides are quite red and swollen. Are they causing you any pain? Oh, yes. It's very painful along the side of my foot and sometimes at the bottom of my feet as well. Does anything make it worse? Yes, a few things. It's difficult to put shoes on, and if I wear closed shoes when I go out, it hurts a lot. I can't even wear my lovely high-heeled shoes anymore. Unfortunately, they may have made the problem worse, especially if the heels are over 8 centimetres high. Shoes with very high heels put a lot of pressure on the foot itself. Wearing shoes that don't fit well, or are too narrow for your foot, can have the same effect. I wish I'd known that when I was younger. I used to love high-heeled shoes. The higher, the better. Is there anything that helps the problem? Well, as I said, I don't wear high heel shoes anymore. I take anti-inflammatories when I need to, but I don't like to do that too often. If my feet are really painful, I put on an ice pack for 10 minutes. Those are all good self-help measures. How long have you been managing the problem yourself? Must be almost three months. I'm at my wit's end now. Nothing seems to help, and my mobility is really restricted. I can't go out if it means a lot of walking, and I've even had to drop out of a weekend walking group which I used to love. It's making me feel quite isolated and lonely. I think it's time to consider a surgical option, as the bunions are both quite prominent and are starting to cause foot deformity. The condition is obviously having an impact on your day-to-day life and affecting your independence as well. What's the surgical option? It's called a bunionectomy, which just means the surgical removal of a bunion. The surgeon makes an incision over the first joint of the big toe and then the enlarged lump is removed. Then, the bones of the big toe are realigned. Your foot will be securely bandaged to make sure it heals correctly and post-operative swelling is reduced. It sounds complex, but unfortunately it's the only way to get rid of bunions entirely. How long will it take to get over the operation? You'll have to stay off your feet as much as possible for at least two weeks after the operation. The surgeon will probably advise doing one bunion at a time, so you can still get about whilst each side heals. You'll also need to use crutches to avoid putting pressure on your operated foot. OK. Is there anything else I should know about? Yes. You won't be able to drive for six to eight weeks after the operation. That's about the time it takes to be able to use the brake to stop in an emergency. That won't be a problem for me as I don't drive. OK. The only other thing is to refer you for a podiatry consultation after your feet have healed. The podiatrist will advise you on the best shoes to wear so you can get back to your walking group. That sounds like a good idea. I've missed the group a lot.